Okay, what is up everybody? This is Avrix and I am here today with the trial version of Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins. I'm playing on a PlayStation 5 right now. <laughs> for those of you um, who didn't watch E3, or for those of you, I should say for those of you who did watch E3, you'll, you'll remember this as the game that, you know, that's being memed on right now because of how many times the word chaos was mentioned in the, in the trailer. <laughs> You know, chaos, 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 I have to kill chaos, where is chaos, I need chaos, I'm only here to kill chaos, you know. This is that game here. Um, for those of you who haven't played, check, go ahead and check that trailer out. Um, honestly, it wasn't very good. Um, I didn't really like it. I didn't, yeah, I, um, it doesn't It doesn't look anything like Final Fantasy, the gameplay, but uh, I'll still give it a fair try, I'll check it out. Um, I, I am hearing some people call it... The Dark Souls of Final Fantasy or Dark Souls Final Fantasy, whatever, I guess, based on the gameplay of it. Um, I hope not. Um, the Final Fantasy is not Dark Souls. Final Fantasy is not Ninja Theater. I mean, was it? No, no, Ninja Gaiden. Uh, you know, because Team Ninja is helping to develop this game. Uh, you know, their name is, is plastered on this. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead um, and see what this is all about. Apparently, this is a remake of the very first Final Fantasy game that ever came out, which is why it's called Final Fantasy Origin. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it, guys. And also, please remember to thumb the video up or down, subscribe, check out the links below, and check out my other content, guys. I'd appreciate that very much. I would have had this video up earlier, but the demo was corrupted and, and nobody could start it. But that's all fixed now, so here we go. And use L to determine. Oh, it's just a loading screen. Why are loading screens still a thing, man? <laughs> loading screen should not be a thing. Um, you know what I mean? That show tips and stuff up there, because because technology has become so. It, well, gaming technology has become t has gotten to the point where loading screens aren't really necessary anymore. Now that we have the new generation of consoles and we have PC. All right, this is beautiful. Okay. Uh, oh no! Invisible walls. Come on. What am I doing? Oh. Uh, lock on for R3. Oh, what? Who are you? I don't know how I figured out how to block like that, but I did. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, alright. Okay, this doesn't feel like no Dark Souls to me. There we go. Defeat goblin. Oh, it was a goblin? Okay, I couldn't really tell what that was. Okay, I like that. That was okay. Basic gameplay. <clears throat> Sprinting slash R2. Oh, okay. That's what it's called. I thought it meant, like, actually, I literally had to sprint and then, you know, do this. But... Okay. Alright. That was okay. Doesn't feel like no Dark Souls or Ninja Gaiden, even though, I, even though I've never played Ninja Gaiden, other than a demo on the PS3 years ago. Uh, Soul Burst. Enemy, break enemies by depleting the yellow gauge above their heads. Approach broken enemies and press circle to finish them off with a Soul Burst. Okay. Look at the little video there. Ah, it looks like, um... It looks like a, how, do, how should I say this? It looks like a lesser, not like inferior, but it looks like a, how do I, how do I say this? How do I say this? It looks like a little piece of the stagger system from Final Fantasy VII and, 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 um, and uh, 13, the Final Fantasy 13 games. Slaying enemies with the soul burst will help you recover your MP and raise your MP. Effective use of soul bursts will ensure your action abilities are ready when you need them. Ah. Yeah, so, okay, okay. So it's kind of like, it's a little bit like the system from, um, was it, is, what was it called, Nendatsu? What was it, what was that, that system from Metal Gear Rising where you, uh, you know, once you, if you stun an enemy, you press... Uh, circle or whatever button prompt and then riding grabs the 
the uh, power pack out of the enemies and replenishes his uh, blade meter. I don't like that. Press R2 to expend MP and use an ability to deal heavy HP and break damage to your foe. There are two types of action abilities. R2 ability, no, R2 activates your job's unique skills. I mean, unique action and pressing R2 during a normal attack, R1 triggers a combo. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm just trying to absorb all of this in. So R2 activates your job's unique action and pressing R2 during a normal attack. Triggers a combo. Okay, I think I get it. Okay. <clears throat> Restore goblins break gauge to reduce goblins break gauge. Ah! I thought this was a little hooded dude the first time. I didn't know what this guy was. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, there we go. Nice. Alright, nice and simple. Nice and simple. So you reduce the gauge, you don't raise the gauge. Okay, yeah. Like in final Man, what is it with this like uh why does it look like that? You gotta see that it's like really it's like the um it's like ant it's like alias and going crazy, man. <laughs> There, there is no, um, oops, yeah, system settings. I thought I clicked on the wrong thing. Optimization, oh, maybe if you go to optimization settings, you could probably fix some stuff up. Blood splatter, oh, blood splatter? Has there, is there normally, I don't think Final Fantasy games are known for blood splatter, dude, are they? Okay. I don't recall blood, like blood splatter being in Final Fantasy games. It's always clean. Your attacks are always clean. You know what I mean? Usually. <clears throat> Soul Shield. Hold circle to deplete your break gauge and adopt the Soul Shield stance. This stance can be extended by keeping circle held down. Blocking an attack in this stance will trigger Soul Shield. Staggering surrounding enemies and dealing break damage. Okay. will trigger, okay, so blocking and attacking this stance will trigger soul shield, staggering surrounding enemies and dealing break damage. It will also restore MP and increase your max MP. All right, okay. Press R1 after a successful block to take a big step forward and unleash a normal attack. All right. I got it. I got it. Where's, there he is. Says use. Oh wait, I get it. Okay, hold on. Did I do it? There we go. I'm surprised there's no parry mechanic. You know what I mean? Like they dodge at the last second to deflect and do encounter. You know stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that they're going to introduce that pretty soon. Okay, instant abilities. If, if soul shield is triggered by an enemy ability with a purple name, uh, that ability, ability will become usable as an instant ability. Ah, activate instant abilities by pressing square. Instant abilities do not consume MP, but their number of uses. I figured that. I figured that. I figured it would be like a, a, um, a short period of being able to use, it, use those attacks. Okay, yeah, they aren't permanent. That's what I was thinking. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, crap. Oh. You soul shield on throw. Got it. Uh-huh. So it's attacks and not just... I thought it meant purple enemy at first. Defeat the goblin. Okay. Why? Why not just freaking... I guess allow you to try it out. Usually games will do the tutorial and then let you just go free. If you want to, but now it just, it just, this tutorial tells me to defeat the enemy every time. Okay, I like it. I like the gameplay here, man. You know, despite all the memes and the jokes everybody was making, everybody was frying this game. 
just roasting this game. But um, I'm not saying I'm against. I was against that. I'm just saying, you know, it, it, it turned out to be okay for me. Lightbringer, when you have one or more full MP gauges, press L2 and circle to consume one MP gauge and activate Lightbringer. Does that restore HP? While Lightbringer is active, you deal, oh, okay, no. You deal increased break damage to enemies and their max break gauges reduce when you hit them. Ah, nice. When they are reduced to zero HP, you will be granted effects equal to a soul burst. Oh, okay. Okay. And if I recall, what was Soul Burst again? Soul Burst was when it um, <clears throat> didn't it break enemies or something when you blocked with this with the Soul Shield, or whatever. Activate Lightbringer Charger changes. Act activating Lightbringer changes the break gauge into a special gauge that depletes over time. Or when hit, Lightbringer ends when the gauge is fully depleted. Jack cannot be broken. While Lightbringer is active, nice, making it particularly useful when the break gauge is not is, is nearly empty. Okay. And of course, since the game is actively telling you to telling you to play, they give you that strategy. That means that they're going to be enemies that are going to be designed to work against that strategy. In my opinion. What does it say again? Activate the light burst? Oh, dang it. I forget what it said. I don't know if there's a way to... Uh... I blocked it with the soul thing. I keep missing my first shot because he keeps blacking away. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna have to take another look at that. What, what is that for pressing the down directional button? What does that do? Oh, restores health. Oh, okay. Go back to Lightbringer again. Let me see that one more time and then we'll get on with it. No, I wanted to actually read the tutorial, you bastards. Oh, dang it. I oh, know I'm missing attacks. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, I can't die. Okay, well, duh. Why on earth would I be able to? So I see you can't jump. I don't think you can jump. <clears throat> okay. Alright, I think I'm ready. Let's, yeah, let's leave the area. Not bad, man. I like it. I like what I've just played so far. I really do. Uh-oh. Oh. Parry. They do have parry. Defend against an enemy attack right before the hit lands to to parry reducing. Ah, okay. God dang it. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's weird though. Loading time should be faster than that. I thought, okay. Maybe it was made for PS4. Let me see if this is on PS4 too. I gotta say, man, graphics aren't looking all that, don't look too good for a PS5. Looks like chaos has been waiting <laughs> for us. You gonna make us go in there and find you? Chaos. Guess we'll just show ourselves in. Oh, this was in the trailer. I remember this exact cutscene from the trailer. Guess we'll just show ourselves in. Our group of people, man. If I do say so myself. Hmm. Odd looking group of people. Wait, why are they giving me the tutorial again? Touch cube? Is that to save the game? Keeps. Touch cubes to restore your HP, MP, oh, and refill your potions. If your new MP, if your max MP was lower than your initial MP, it will be restored to the initial value. 
Doing so will revive any slain enemies and remove any unclaimed items from the field. Ah. Okay. When you fall in battle, you will return to the last cube you have touched. Okay. Oh, look at all of that. Battle settings. Wow. Okay. I'm liking this. Honestly, I'm actually liking this. Yeah. I'll play this when it comes out. I'm liking what I've seen so far. Who knows? Maybe I'll... You know, maybe something will happen that'll make me not like this game as much later. Job trees, onslaught, reinforced temporarily. Oh, okay, so these are the things that I... So that's what that symbol means. Okay, okay. That's what that symbol means. So it's my job, whatever, my job. I can't switch between jobs. I wonder if they're going to give me any job points. Link one ability abandoned mission tips battle yeah this is what I want now what was that thing again so it says oh okay And then you interrupt it. Okay. I don't want to, you know, burn my MP. Okay. Goblin. There you are. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> I didn't mean to you I didn't mean to use my attack. Uh-oh. Performance issues. What the what what? That's not good. That's not good at all, man. What the heck? What's this? Yeah, I just read this. I already read this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I'm trying to do it and it's not working. The thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, no, him. There we go. Oh. I could have blocked that attack. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh. Nope. Shot you. And all right, nice. All right, I like this, man. I like the combat. Combat is fine. Yeah, combat is fine. This ain't nothing like no Dark Souls, man. This ain't like no Dark Souls. It ain't like no freaking uh, Ninja Gaiden either. I like it, man. This is fun. I'm definitely playing. I, okay, I'm 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 a little I'm excited now. Definitely interested in one in playing this when it comes out. The trailer did not bode well for me. It didn't, you know, it, it didn't. Um, what what's in there? Trailer didn't do this game um, justice. Twilight Tunic. <coughs> battle settings. Okay, about equip weapons and armor from the battle settings menu. Changing equipment affects affects various stats, and pressing L three will automatically equip the most opt. Now I never use the op optimization option. Some some Final Fantasy games have the option for you to just automatically equip um, the best gear or whatever the game finds optimal for your character. I don't like doing that. That's not for me. I always like to put what I want on my character. Every piece of equipment. Has a level that determines its stats and the strength of its effects. Yeah, okay. Deck yourself out in high level equipment to gain an edge in battle. Duh, yeah, like every Final Fantasy game in existence. Um, okay, so it's here. Twilight Tunic. Again, physical attack and physical defense, but magic defense goes down a little bit. Um, does it actually... Please change the appearance. Please. Oh, heck yeah, man. 
Oh, but wait, no, maybe that's not such a good thing. Maybe it's not. It would be, cause, cause if, what if you find, what if there's some low level piece of gear, right? But it has a really cool design on it that you might want to keep, but then you got to get rid of it because it's low level. <laughs> that's the only problem with, with, uh, gear having different looks. Uh, level the gear that has different looks is that if if, 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 a, if a piece of equipment has a look that you like on it you get you, you know you have to you're gonna have to ditch it you don't have to but you you know what I'm saying obviously most people are gonna want to ditch that low level gear for something that's higher level this kind of looks like Kratos's blade man it, I swear it looks similar to the Kratos's chaos blades or whatever they're called it looks similar to his blade man but uh, yeah it would be best if uh maybe maybe once you unlock a piece of equipment you also unlock the cosmetic look for that piece of equipment and that way if you you know you can switch cos cosmetic uh looks of different pieces of equipment without having to switch out the actual piece of equipment that would be nice um i forget i played i played a few video games that have done that before Jack, there's one down there I wish Let's I could remember. Down. Can we do like some sort of like stealth drop down attack or no? Hop ahead. Nope. What? Oh, okay, yeah. Recover it, yeah. Well, it, it can't interrupt my attacks, that's cool. I love how drop level up nice. All right. Let's keep it up. I love how when you press a uh, circle to do the soul burst, he instant it instantly cancels whatever he's doing and uses the soul burst. I like that. That way you don't risk uh killing an enemy uh before using the soul burst if you want to use one. I really appreciate that ability right there. I like that you can cancel the game even like like uh what what's the attack? Like this attack right here. The game tells you you can cancel this by just using your regular attack, which is really good. Uh, because if you hold it down and have it keep going, it uses your MP, if I recall. Um, yeah, man, this is really cool. Damn, where does all that darkness come from? What? You can't pause the game? Oh. What? Why can't I? This is stupid. Why, why, does it, why is there a separate pause screen? Just pause the game when I open the menu, man. I, okay, that's the first thing I don't like. That's the first thing I don't like. <laughs> that's the one thing I don't like right now. That's really dumb. Um, where's the thing about? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. Is it, I'm trying to use. Um, there it is. During a combo. Oh, during a combo, you have to do it. Okay, it's not a separate move. Okay, let's try it out. Um, Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. You have to do it in a combo. Ah. Okay. Ah, so that's how it works. Hold on. I'm trying to... He's not doing it anymore. There we go. Yeah, it's a little tricky to pull off. It's a little tricky to pull those two moves off. Or not. I think I got it now. Hold on. I got it. Okay. I got it. I got it. Hold on. You just have to not button mash. Don't button mash and time your button presses and then you can, you know, pull it off as part of a combo. Uh, but I got it though. What the? Yeah. What is he? What is it? Goblin Guard? He has purple attacks? Uh oh. Holy crap, he broke my guard. What? I died. Oh no. I gotta pay attention to my health. 
No, not stall all the way to the falling in battle. After falling in battle, you will lose any instant abilities obtained and be revived to reduce max MP at the last cube you have touched. If your max MP was lower than your initial MP, it will be restored to the initial value. It just said you and be revived with reduced max MP. Oh, huh, okay. Wait, after falling in battle, you will lose any instant abilities obtained and be revived with reduced max MP. If your max MP was lower than your initial MP, it will be restored. That makes, I don't know, okay, I don't know. I guess what they're saying is your max MP will go down, but if you had less than your max, then it'll go up to whatever your max is at that point after you revive. I think that's what they're saying. Make sure you have enough MP before challenging a strong foe or, or your action abilities may fail you in the heat of battle. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how I feel, but oh no. So, oh, now this I don't know. I suppose it would be challenging. What I was going to say, I don't know how I feel now about having to start from the beginning, or at least from the last cube. Because whether there's a particularly, like, uh, annoying area that you're having to go through from the last cube to get to a boss. You know? Okay, cool. He's handling that. And then you die, and it's like, oh, now I gotta go to that annoying area again, you know? Now that's, that, that, that's a Dark Souls thing. <laughs> that's absolutely a Dark Souls thing there. Who else is here? How's the music still going? Ow! You know what? Let's let's capture that. We might need it. There we go. Uh. Stop jumping backwards, you bastard! Let me use the attack on you, you stupid douchebag. He keeps backing up every time I try to attack him with it. I can't use it. <laughs> Go ahead and heal. I'm trying to like launch him into the air with the attack. The music is just going non-stop now. There we go, finally I hit him. What? Soldiers. Nice. Okay, let's beat this douchebag now. I'm at full health, man. What you want, boy? Critical. Ah. Oh, it's gone. Aw. Oh. oh, look. We almost got his gauge down. You. I couldn't get his ability though. God dang it. I didn't know. Oh, we get this. What? You can pick up enemy weapons in this game? Get out of here. What? Great sword level 4. Get on out of here. Oh, wait. Let me say. Oh, uh, R3. Wait. Oh, no. I meant, I meant to use the thing on it. Now what? Okay, but hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's so dumb. I don't like that pause thing, man. I don't like the pause thing at all. Um, where am I going? Job, wait, job trees? Job tree about, upon leveling up, you will be rewarded with job points. Job points can be used on the tree to obtain skills and abilities which fall into the following three categories. One combo, excuse me, powerful techniques that are triggered during regular attacks. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've used a couple. <laughs> Command versatile techniques can be used by any job. Okay. And passive. Yeah, supplementary effects that are active. Always active after you obtain them. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, we already have Onslaught. Yeah. Maybe 
set to R1. Well, you can set your abilities too. That's really cool. Slash strike, slash and strike for with successive, successive sweep attacks. Oh wait, I don't have that. Oh, unlock it. Equip acquired abilities from the battle settings menu. You can reach the item menu by you can reach the reach the menu by pressing X while selecting the acquired ability. All right. Equip. Wait, oh no, wait, wait, wait. I didn't mean to go into the menu like that so fast. Combo abilities. Equip combo abilities from the combo ability screen. Combo abilities can be used by pressing R2 during a normal attack. Yeah. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Most of these abilities can, can only be equipped in certain slots. Though there are some like Raging Slash that can be set in any slot. Ah. Draw specific actions can also be equipped in any slot. Got it. Oh, okay. Change battle set. Ability details. I uh, just unlock Raging Slash. Hmm. Okay, well. Do I have anything else? Spinning Slash? Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah, put sp uh, Spinning Slash back on. I want that too. So that's has so it has to be the third attack in a combo. One, two, and then R2. One, two, three. Spinning Slash. One, two, Spinning Slash. Alright, nice. I like this, man. I'm, yeah, this is really cool. Oh, I, can I unlock more? Do I have enough? How do you see the cost? Oh, uh, one point, two points. I have three all together. Decrease MP consumption when using spinning slash in succession. Increase strength by two. Let's do both, man. I want to increase my strength and I want to be able to use spinning slash with reduced MP consumption. So absolutely, let's do that. I'll do that. Piercing Thrust. Unleash a piercing attack that does heavy break damage to enemies. Oh, that reminds me of... Uh, what, what, what is the attack Cloud has? It was something Thrust. Piercing Thrust or something. No, not, that's the attack here. You know, and it raises the stagger bar on enemies. Temporarily decrease, temporarily decrease the likelihood of being staggered in the amount of time required to charge certain attacks. That, that could be very useful as well. Um, man, that could be really useful right there. Heavy break damage can be set to did it. Yeah, do that. Give me that. No, uh, battle settings. I'll take that. Um, combo abilities. Apparently, it has to be set here. That sucks. No combo available. Oh no, I could put... Oh, okay, no. So it can only... No combo effects available. Hmm. Uh, piercing Thrust. Matter of fact, I think it was actually called Piercing Thrust in Final Fantasy VII. Okay, so I just looked it up. It's actually it's called Focus Thrust. Focused Thrust. <laughs> close. Close, close. So Onslaught, Piercing Thrust, Raging Slash. I hope I can remember that, man. Honestly, I would prefer it be more like Final Fantasy um, 7 where you can like press R1 and then and then in the R1 menu you can press circle, square, triangle or X to do whatever ability you want. You know what I mean? It would be better if it was like that. Or you know, not R1, but whatever button to open up a menu and then use an attack that way. That would be really cool. Or for example, if you so since you have to press um r1 to attack maybe if you press r1 and circle you'll use an attack r1 and x will use another attack r1 and square will use another different type of attack and you know, that would be cool as well uh but this is this is okay too i guess this can be okay you just have to remember what you have set for combos so so onslaught first and then piercing thrust and then raging slash all right Did that break the wall? Nice one, Jack. 
Now let's see what secrets this place is hiding. Dark vents. Fiends emerge from dark vents scattered about the shrine. Slaying enemies that have emerged from the vents will lower their break gauge. Oh, and then, okay. And destroying the vents will stop the flood of enemies. All right. Uh, oh, okay, we go up. So enemies will just keep popping out, okay. Dash. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot I actually, f oh, a thing. Nice. And it gives us a potion? Okay, cool. Excellent. <laughs> I don't know if we should go down or up. Should probably go, I'm thinking this is the dead end or just takes us somewhere that we've already been. Obviously, most people are going to want to go and get this. Uh, this is stupid, man. Shadow Guards, level 3. Why not just give me the item, man? Oh, wait, no. I didn't want to do... Oh, yeah, yeah. It took, a, it took us back over here. Oh, that's where this led to. I remember I came here. At, yeah, when I, I was wondering if you could climb up when I first came to this part. Oh, no. The enemies respawn. Get out, man. Oh, I'm not fighting you again. Oh, this sucks. Nope. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. So is it like... So is it like Dark Souls? Yeah. So I wonder if it's like Dark Souls where when you... When you activate one of these things, it it, it, it uh, revives the enemies. It responds to enemies because that's what it's seeming like. Um. Okay. Oh look, I have. Oh, that's what I just picked up, huh? Yeah, it, it equip that absolutely. It raises my physical defense and my magical defense. All right, yeah. Oh, I got a new sword. Great. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I picked up from the dude, man. Yeah, that's so cool. That's new. I don't. Re well, to be fair, I've only ever played the Final Fantasy Thirteen trilogy, Final Fantasy Twelve. I played some of. I played Fifteen up to a certain point because I couldn't stand Fifteen. I didn't like anything about it. And I played f the Final Fantasy Seven remake, which I absolutely loved, man. Yeah, just got. I, um, I played the DLC um, not that long ago. I just got finished uh, making all of the my entire run through of the um, my first run of the DLC available, the Yuffie DLC. I uh, played on the PS5 obviously because it's only available there. Go check that out, please. Uh, I also have an entire playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, you know the entire Let's Play that is also on my channel, including some hard mode stuff like uh, the Super Balls. And uh, Bahamut, I took on Bahamut for the first time in hard mode as well. So uh, go check that stuff out, guys. Anyway, enough shilling. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, magic attacks like fire will deal some damage. Oh, I forgot all about magic. Even if you guard by try sidestepping, rolling out of the way, or using soul shield to absorb. Okay. Is this how we use magic in this game? We just have to absorb it? Because I completely forgot about spell. Oh, look, a thing. I remember this thing. This is a, yeah, a bomb. I remember these from Final Fantasy XII. Ow. Okay. Grow. No, they still have the grow ability. And they, they're in Final Fantasy VII too, I should mention. Yeah. yeah they are in seven. Oh, I should have used piercing whatever. I remember that. What is piercing? Spinning slash. How do you use it? It's what is it? Um. <clears throat> no. Um. Drop trees. Okay, I got a new point. I guess. Um. It's R two, right? Yeah. It says. Oh, that's for onslaught. Okay. Ah. Okay. Nice. Ah, oh, now that's on that. Oh, but I'm using up my MP though. God dang it. God dang it. Okay. 
Let's restore our MP. I'll just fight the bomb again. I don't care. There we go. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, they give you a potion every time? Cool. Oh, it does work like that. It revives the enemy. It revives the enemy. Let's see how much fire that thing can eat. Oh, he, he absorbed the fire. Is that what happened? Darn it, I wanted to hail Greaves. Oh, that I didn't get that before. I wanted to use a soul burst on him, but eh, whatever. <coughs> nice, randomized drops, huh? You know, like every other Final Fantasy. <laughs> well, except Final Fantasy VII Remake. That doesn't have drops. That doesn't have, uh... Yeah, there are item drops, but there are no equipment drops, though. Okay, so pale greaves, huh? Yup, boost the physical attack, physical defense, magical attack, magical defense, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, let's go to the Oh, you can put more command ability. So so Lightbringer is a command ability. Instant ability fire times two. What goes here? Name, job. I'm loving this game, man, so far. This is excellent. So what's new here? Equip. Equip, equip. Why is it telling me to go here? Because <clears throat> I have a point. Oh, oh that's going to get annoying, man. Uh, don't do that every time I get a point, even though I don't have enough to unlock anything. I hate when games do that, man. Like, just, just, just put the little marker up there when I can unlock a new ability. That's what most games do. That's what most games do. Enemy spotted. Die. Oh crap. What? Break stats. Oh no, he broke me. Jack will be broken when his break gauge is the Where is my break gauge? I think it's at the bottom of the screen. It's depleted, pleated, causing him to be temporarily defenseless. This will also decrease his max MP and remove any instant abilities he has attained. Max MP will not fall below the initial MP value. Okay, cool. Holy crap. Heal, dude. What? God dang, he wrecked me, man. Holy crap. Alright, I like this. This game is fun and it's, and it's challenging even on normal mode, man. Heck yeah. Doesn't seem too hard. Scoop you. There we go. Alright. Nice. Potion. Go ahead and use one. <clears throat> Warm well. Come on, follow me. Heal, man. I see my break gauge was close to breaking. Why can't I use the potion while I'm blocking? That sucks. I see the, the okay. So the break gauge at the bottom, man, it goes up pretty slow too. It reminds me of Sekiro, if I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, the uh, what is it? What was it called in Sekiro? The I can't remember. Oh, goblin! Oh, oh! Thought maybe I could break him. The dude was hitting this out of a pillar, though. That was odd. <laughs> He's either behind it or in it. Oh no, a thing!
Ah, crap. Leave me alone, you bastard. There we go. Cool. Okay, now we can stop more of his buddies from coming out. Company? Let's knock him down. Let's knock him down. Actually, no, I want to go back and kill the fire guys, man. Yeah, I don't want to skip that. They're probably got us some good loot, man. Yeah. Oh crap. Heal you bastard. Heal dude. What the heck are you doing? Ah, shoot. I hate it. Uh, is there any like um... Uh oh. Holy crap. Are you kidding me, man? God dang it. Oh, I'm alive. Heal, quick, quick. Oh, that was close. Holy crap, that was, a, that was close, man. That was super freaking close. Okay, he's gonna explode pretty soon. I'm guessing. Gonna explode. There we go. Okay, he's down. I need that potion. Jeez, man, this game's performance. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> Wait a minute, where am I? Are my guys down? Oh, they are, huh? How do I bring them back? Get up. Where's the other one at? I don't know where he is. He's somewhere. I just left him behind, huh? Where is he? Oh, there they are. Okay. This probably isn't such a good idea. You know, because... I have, um... Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Come on, dude. Really? Okay, that sucks, man. They let you fall off of stuff. Oh, God. Well, I'm about to die. Okay, this game, okay, I can see this game being difficult, man. So that's why people were saying Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Hoo, 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 hoo. Come on, man. Enemies need to be, okay, when I'm doing like a power move, why don't enemies freaking me? That's annoying, man. No, enemies not getting stunned. Come on. <laughs> now then. Let's get ourselves together. But in fairness, I don't get stunned either, so. Yeah, look at that chest right there. But I, there's no way I could do this with this low health, man. Oh, this is some sucky bull crap. And if I go back to the cube thing, then I'm going to have to fight all these enemies over again. Oh, yeah, this game is freaking challenging. Holy crap, man. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Challenge accepted. I just gotta get good. I wanna know what's in that box. Can't lose with Jack here. Run. Okay, I tried to use my soul thing, but it didn't work. Open the thing quick. Heal. Dang it, man. Heal. Ugh. He got stunned, man. Come on. I think his uh, I think his his meter broke or something. I don't know. There you are. I can just grab it. Let's go. Run.
Where's the box? Oh, I already opened and got the stuff. Nice. Okay. What was it? What did I get job treat? This mess is stupid, man. Pause. Why can't the game pause when I go into my menu, man? This is so dumb. Like, this is beyond stupid, man. I hate when games do stupid stuff like that. Come on, man. They're just like... They're gonna have to stay dead, man. I can't. There we go. Well, at least I opened the door. So now, hopefully, I can just go through. Yeah, he has to, like, let me open this door very slowly. Wait, where am I? Oh, what? Where am I? Oh. Oh, wow. Nice, man. Heck yeah. Yeah, but he's over here like, let me open this door very slowly while these guys are behind me shooting at me. I'm sure they won't kill me. You know, this, this will be fine. <laughs> Alright, what is that? It's battle set? You have unlocked a second battle set. You can instantly change from one to the other. Which, what is a battle set, though? Each set has its own break gauge. Switch carefully between the two to give yourself an edge in battle. You can change your battle sets by opening the battle settings. Okay. But what are... I don't know... Can, can you tell me what a battle set is, please? I have no idea what that is. I don't know what that is, man. What is a battle set? Uh, battle sets, here we are. What are they? <laughs> I don't know what they are. Okay. Job trees. Where is the thing? It said what? Mage. Oh, th is that what it means? Is these battle sets? Okay, I don't... Uh, so I go from a swordsman to a mage. Oh. Oh. Oh, will this let me, um, Hermit Club, Fire Resistance, Water Damage, Del- Ooh, so that's how I can kill those stupid bombs. Oh, that's just dirty, man. That's dirty. The game's like, hey, we're gonna hide this this battle set that is very effective against these bombs behind all of the bombs. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, boy. Typical Dark Souls type behavior there. Not gonna lie. So you use the water to take the get rid of the fire, I see, but uh, it looks like you could have went around. Yeah, I could have went all the way around. No, wait, no, I couldn't. No, I couldn't. Nope, never mind. Nope. Scratch that. Okay, so... So then where does that other way take you then? Yeah, I'm confused. Black magic. I don't know how... I, I don't know what the abilities do. Man, this is so stupid that the part that bringing this up doesn't pause the game, man. I hate one video. Why does it do that? <sighs> All right, so fiery impact, ruin, intellect, mages. Mages can cast black magic one by holding, release this button while casting your press. What does black magic do though? Why do I? Is it? it it's a fire symbol. It's, it does fire damage. Let's take a look at this here and see what this is. Have to get through this once. Okay, maces and magic. Maces and mages. Maces are strike... Wait, what? Oh, maces are strike weapons that specialize in dealing break damage attacks. Break damage. Attacks with maces are quicker than attacks with great swords and shields and can be equipped while using them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Attacks and mace with maces are quicker than attacks with great swords and shields. Can be equipped with. I don't understand what that can be equipped with. I think they messed. Like I think somebody messed up with the like the grammar or whatever. That that makes sense. How it's like. How that sentence goes. <laughs> Making maces versatile weapons for attack for both attack and defense. Okay, so attacks with maces are quicker than attacks with great swords. Oh, I get it. And shields can be equipped while using them. Okay, I understand that. I understand the sentence structure now. Making maces versatile. Okay, attacks can be charged by holding down R1. Doing combo. Yeah, forward, trigger upward, downward. Mages can block magic. One. Mages. No, mages can cast. I said block. 
Mages can cast black, black magic one by holding down R2. Up to two MP gauges will gradually recover while casting spells. Switch spells with L selected spells can be cast by releasing R2 or holding R2 and pressing R1. Oh, okay. So that's so I can switch to fire. Ah, holding down R2 while casting will increase the tier of the spell from fire, fire up, fire god. That's what I was thinking too. Without expanding any and extra. Oh, very nice. Okay. No oh, extra MP, huh? Each attack has individual attributes. Physical attacks have the oh attributes of weak and weaknesses. Okay. Each attack has individual attributes. Physical attacks have the slash, pierce, or strike attributes, while magic attacks can have the fire, ice, lightning, earth, water, or wind attributes. Oh, we have earth elements in here. Some enemies are weak to certain attributes and take greatly increased HP and break damage from uh, attacks sharing that attribute. All right. Water? How do I use water? It says switch by using... Oh. Wait, no, no, no. How do you do it? That thing, go back to the thing. I'm wasting MP, man. How do you switch again? Uh, uh, it's not here. God dang it. Oh, here we go. How do you switch? Oh, L. Okay. Okay. Holding R2. Okay. I'd rather do the L thing because if I do the R2 one, I feel like I might risk. It's not doing anything. Or do I hold it down? Oh, okay. That sucks. Why do I have to... Okay. Why can't I switch and then... I don't know. Whatever. Nice. And pause the game when I do it, man. Oh, this game is going to be annoying. <laughs> It seems fun. I like the challenge and stuff, but it's gonna be annoying, man. I'm pretty sure that was R3, L2 to cast. Nice. Can you can you get the stupid stuff off the screen, please? I would appreciate that. Oh no. Why is the stuff stuck on the screen, man? The stuff is. Hold up, man. Run. Why is this stuff stuck on the screen like that? Is that like a bug? Am I bugged? Alright, okay, whatever, man. It won't go away. No, not... See, this is... this. Uh, I don't want to use wind. I'm trying to freaking. <laughs> I'm trying to move while. Okay, this is okay. Okay. I was trying to move, but I, 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 I did. I still had the menu up. Oh, this is gonna freaking. Like, why? Doesn't the game just pause with the menu up or slow down like Final Fantasy VII? Man, this is gonna be an annoying game, dude. <sighs> okay. All right. And, I, and it has to be, it had to have been a design choice. They've done that on purpose. Maybe as a way to, oh, keep the players on their toes. Oh, we want to make it super hard. And blah, 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 blah. Like, no, man. Now, then. Being what should we do now? No, annoying is not a good gameplay mechanic. I'm sorry, it's not. <clears throat> Jeez, man. Didn't this say that? Oh, you have to have the menu open? For, okay. Are you freaking kidding me with this? Like, why do I have to... I didn't use something... Okay. You have to have the menu open in order for it to charge up. I don't understand that decision. So... I, I don't get that. Why? Why do I need to have the actual spell window open? In order for the MP to charge, man. Use the attack, dude. 
Use the thing. He won't use the attack now. What? Oh wait, I think I'm doing it wrong. There we go. It's my fault. Hey, get yourself back up, man. Oh, come on, dude. No, not a roar. <laughs> this freaking <laughs> Oh, this is gonna get so annoying, man. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be a tough I'm gonna have a tough time trying to get used to this gameplay. This, this play style, I'll tell you. <sighs> Attack the dude, please. Need a potion to revive him. Okay, I'm gonna die. Let me go. This way. <sighs> Alright, reset him. Yeah, now I'm not so sure about this game. <laughs> I mean, I understand it's meant to be challenging, but some of this stuff is just straight up annoying, man. Holy crap. Uh, can I go? Oh, yeah, go down. Why can't I use a thumbstick? Fiery impact. Sure. Damage enemies with a fire imbued strike. R1 and then. Oh. Reduce a non elemental. Release a non elemental attack in front of you that sends enemies flying. Intellect increases intellect by two. I guess intellect raises magic attack. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know which does which. I hate it when games give you stats and then don't tell you what the stats do. That's so annoying. Um, does this game tell you what stats do? Tell me what my stats do. Uh, what do my stats do? Can I see what stats do? Why didn't this game tell me my stats? Nope, nothing for stats because you know why? Well, you know, yeah, you know. It's, why? Why bother? Why bother to explain those numbers on the side that you know determine how well you do in this video game? You know that's not important at all. So why bother to explain them? Um, you know, not important at all. Not important. At all. Kill it. Uh, Why didn't I get MP? Oh yeah, okay. No, lock on to him. Oh, I killed him? Alright. Nice, I broke him. Ah. Screw you. Yeah! How you like me now? How do you like me now? There's a certain president of the United States would say who owns a metal wolf mech. And likes to constantly remind you that he can do anything because he is the president of this great United States of America. Nice. Heck yeah, man. They're getting wrecked. They got wrecked. <laughs> oh. 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 How do we know what they're weak against? I don't know. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. 
Oh. Eat a dick. Nah, eat an ice cube. There you go. <laughs> That's a proper insult for them bombs. Eat an ice cube. Alright. Oh, we did it. Sweet, sweet revenge, man. Oh. Feels nice. Wait. Oh. What does this lead to? Let's go. God dang it. Let's knock him down. Oh, wait. Let's knock him down. Mm -hmm. How do you switch sets? Yeah, switch to this. Just for this, okay. I forgot this led to a dead end. Alright. Yeah. Nice. I mean that knocks that down. Oh wait. Okay. Still a ways to go. Come on. Oh wait, no. So it does lead you around, huh? So I could have went around. Oh boy. That's what I was supposed to do. You're supposed to go around. Oh no! I made it harder for myself. Of course I did. Of course, of course I did, everybody. Of course I did. All right. All right. So it was fair. All right. All right. All right. I made the game harder for myself because I'm a moron. <laughs> uh, sometimes my, I gotta admit, sometimes my, my, ex my sense of exploration can make me do, make dumb decisions, or make rash decisions, or make the wrong decisions, you know? If I'd have just kept going on this side instead of thinking that I really wanted to see what's over here, I could have discovered that, oh, the battle mage set with water abilities that allow me to easily dispatch or be or more easily dispatch of the darn bombs, but of course, you know. Averix had to be Averix. No, um no no switch. I gotta use water to break that. There we go. Something new? What is that? Cactar. Chain cancel? Oh I know about that. I think press triangle immediately after using an action ability to activate a chain castle and switch battle sets faster than usual. Oh, pushing L will allow you to move in the direction you choose at the same time. Use this to unleash a follow up attack on the enemy, move out of their range, and more. Okay. So I'm guessing the cactar would be weak to fire. Get wrecked. No, I should probably get rid of the bombs first. Yeah. Get in there. Get, there we go. Alright. Heal yourself, dude. Alright. Watch this cactar. is gonna be, like, super powerful. Where is he? Did he disappear? Where did he go? I think it disappeared. What the heck? He went somewhere. The music is still going. It's almost too easy. Huh? It was good practice. Did I kill it? I don't know. I think they killed it. Whatever. <laughs> Pale protector. Battle settings. Oh, job affinity? Equipping weapons or more equipping weapons or armor with a job affinity with will grant a bonus to experience earned while using that relevant job. You can also get stat boosts depending on the affinity type and value. Higher level equipment has a greater chance to okay. 
Uh, okay, so higher level equipment has a greater chance to have high affinity values. Oh. So pay special attention to the loot drop by powerful foes. Got it. A battle sets grants a battle sets job grants job affinity bonuses to your second battle set. Okay, what is that? A battle sets job grants job affinity bonuses to your second battle. Alright. The effects of status type uh, passive skills such as strength plus will also be carried over. Oh, that's what it means. That's what I figured. Add a job you want to strengthen to a battle set. All right. Or include a powerful job to boost your stats to give yourself an edge. All right. So that was kind of a lot to kind of. Geez, now there's multi slot equipment. Some single pieces of equipment take up multiple slots. For example, the pale protector occupies both the torso and waist slots. Okay, although you sacrifice an equipment slot items, equipment slot items of this type make up for it by offering higher stats. All right, so I think we're good here. We are absolutely good. Job trees. Ooh, I'm at six. Holy crap! Uh, yeah, do that. Elemental ice unleash multiple ice and beast strikes to send enemy flying. Ooh. Oh, but that's oh, it's two. Do that. I want it. I want it. Do that. Okay. Cool. What's that? Electricity? Yup. Lightning. Mm. Well, when we, how do you, I just realized, how, how do we know, um, is there a bestiary or whatever? How are we supposed to know what enemies are weak to? Yeah, I didn't, yeah, how do we know that? How do we find that out? Wow. Oh, you can look at that. Uh, look around. No, L3. Nice room. <laughs> Smells like trouble. Stay alert. He sounds like that guy that plays Cyborg. I don't know his name. I never bothered to find out what his name is. What is that? Wolf. Come on, follow me. Stop getting, okay, you know what? You want to play that game? Fine, we can play that game. Yeah, screw you. Reach back. Drop level up, nice. Caster level. Caster what what? Oh yeah, that's at two. Increase intellect. Wow, I, w I sure wish I knew what intellect did. I, I'm... I, MP recovery from normal attacks. We'll go down that way. I guess. Oh, wait. Hold on. Go over. Oh, they're separate. Heck yeah, man. I am so glad. Decrease break. Yeah, do that. I'm glad that the trees are separate, man. They don't all... They don't share one pool, man. That is really good. Um, Stamina strength. All damage taken negative 10%. Yeah, that's good. I'm like, I'm digging that. What is that over there going? Oh, it's one of them generator things. Right. Oh, oh, we can go up. Heck yeah, man. What is that over there? Oh, it's just a, it's just a railing. <laughs> How do I go across? I don't think you can, huh? Okay. Got to make sure I don't fall. It's so stupid that you can fall off of stuff, man. I hate that. I'm on. I don't like that at all. See what's inside. Yeah. It's so dark. I can't see. Um. Oops, no. I can't see where I'm walking. The ground is really dark. Ooh, Shadow Boots. Shadow Boots level 6. No, 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 no. Not that. What do we got? Uh, caster. Caster Coat. No, why on earth would I take that? Pale Greaves. Shadow Boots. Oh. Lightning Duration. Light Bringer Duration. I don't know. I'm starting to... Uh, I don't like 
One thing I kind of don't like is when a game throws a million different pieces of loot at you all with these super small, very tiny incremental upgrades. Like, hey, here's 60 different equipment and each one increases, hey, this one increases strength by 0.1%. This one increases spirit by 0.5%. This one increases, I don't know, defense by 0.12%. You know, like, it's just boring, man. Look at this point, wow, point plus point z point three hooray excellent oh my god come on man plus one to stamina hooray you know <laughs> yeah the loot uh, i don't like this type of loot honestly it's not my thing um how do you get up? how the heck do you get up there oh i see it's, a, it's some stairs leading up ah Okay, and these stairs go down. Do I, do I want it? Oh, it's blocked off. Ah, I see, I see. I see. So you have to do that to go down from this side. I don't want to go down there yet. I do not like what I see down there. What is that? What are those shadows moving around? What the? Are they the wolves? I don't know. Or is it just like an environmental thing? <coughs> Let's go back down and writ and pray I don't fall. Or well, hope I don't fall. I don't you know I'm not religious, but you know what I mean. Uh come on camera. You're working against me, man. I need to be able to see where I'm going. Alright. Let's head up here. Mm. Mm. Alright. Oh, he fell. <laughs> oh, is he are they attacking each other? What the heck? What did I do? I don't know what I did. What the heck? Oh, looks like I like did some sort of environmental thing. Wow, man. I triggered some sort of environmental effect. That is freaking cool. Wasn't even trying. <laughs> All right, let's go down though. We don't have anything else more to do. Don't have anything more to do. What the, oh, I'm out. Switch. Oh yeah, I don't, uh-oh, okay, okay. Heal. That's not what I wanted to use, but okay. No, I don't. I'm trying to use the thing. Okay. What? Why am I down? Oh, my break gauge. Heal, dude. Okay. The one with the lowest health runs away. Yeah, of course he does. Oh, look, it's a big one. Oh, crap. He's a big one, Alpha Wolf. Okay. Hit him. Hit the small one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, heal. No, does he keep calling more? Oh, that sucks, man. Are you freaking kidding me? Stop. Come on, man. Stop backing away. That mess is annoying. Ugh. Every time I try to attack. Dude, you off, dude. Dickhole. I blocked, but okay. Okay. Heal. Heal. I can't heal. I don't want to die. No! Come on, man. I tried to use a spell. Ugh. All right, whatever. All the way back here, man. Come on, dude. Ugh. Whatever. Can I kill that cactar? What is that cactar that showed up? 
It's a cactar here. Where'd he go? Was that like a... I don't know. Is Mr. Alpha Wolf caught in that? I don't even know. What are they weak to? No, hit him. Jeez, oh, dude. Come on. Nice. I don't stand a chance. Why are so many of them, um, what the, you can't see, okay, he's down, got him, oh. no, I wanted to gain some stuff, I wanted to get some MP. Come on, man. Like, can this dude stagger, please? Or something, or get stunned? It's hard for me to do combos and stuff. If I can't block with I gotta keep interrupting. Why is the fire hurt? Was the fire hurting me too? Why? <laughs> Why am I getting hurt by my own fire sparrows? It looked like I was getting damaged by it. Alright, let's check out our stuff. Uh, this. I want this. Great stamina. I don't know what it looks like. I'm not sure what it does, but it looks like it affects my health. Because with the heart symbol, please MP recovery from normal attacks. Yes, that's what I want. What goes this way? Spirit focus, increase MP recovery link. What is it? Oh, recovery limit when casting, but okay. Um, yeah, let's go down that way. What's this way? Action ability MP cost decrease. Oh, look at this. Black mage, new job. What? Black mages can cast Black, Ma Black Magic 2 by holding down releases button. In addition to Black Magic 1, you will also have the Fearsome Flare spell at your disposal. Black Mages is the advanced job of mages. Oh, oh yeah, because right now I'm just a mage and I can use Black Magic, but I can't. I'm not a Black Mage. Alright, we'll go down this path then. We'll go down this path and get that advanced um, skill. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Pale protector. Yeah. Why not? Oh wait. No. I have. It's a castle pair. Okay. So I have another pale protector. But if I equipped another pale protector there. Wait. I don't have it equipped. Why don't I have this equipped? What the heck? Who put that man? I must have accidentally. Yeah, I looked at this and equipped something and forgot. <laughs> that must have been what happened. God dang, man. I didn't even think about using this. I need to use this stuff, man. Ruin? Oh, yeah. Ruin, ruin, ruin. I remember that from Final Fantasy XIII. Final Fantasy XIII games, ruin is always a non-elemental spell that you can use. Yeah. Um, well, I forgot all about this. This is likelihood of being started in amount of time. Yeah, well... I gotta remember that stuff, man. What was it? No, what, what was which one? Oh yeah, this. Okay. It'd be nice if it would put the name of the attack in there, man. So you could actually, like, you know, put the name of the attack in the menu too, instead of just a symbol. Now I gotta, rem now I gotta memorize symbols. <laughs> uh. 
Oi, oi, oi. That's what Japanese like to say. Ura, ura. Treasure, huh? Ura. For when they're like fired up. Oops, what did I just do? I didn't mean to switch. Yeah. This is at level 20. That's a, I should stay on this so I can boost it up. You know, so to catch up. Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah, I can't equip anything. Ooh, wow. Would you look at that? Oof, 10%. But no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ooh, I got a shield. Kite shield. I remember kite shield from Final Fantasy 12. Ooh, can I use it? Can I equip it? I can equip it. Does it have any abilities or anything? Ice damage dealt negative. Oh, plus 1.1. Okay. Hermit club. Ooh, yes. Nice. Can you like uh, salvage stuff? Optimize. Oh, you can drop stuff. Sweet. Oh, that's so there's no um. So there's no type of uh, like there's no. Um, uh, how do I, what salvage system, you know, you can you sell, is there a shop, can you sell and buy, or is this just pure action, this is a pure action RPG, I wonder, is that same shield with this, no it's not, That's, can we, can we, I, I forget, I think it said if you have a great sword, you can't use a shield, yeah, you can't, alright, so, whatever, how do you even block, oh, you use a shield to block like that, doi, do 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 Alright, uh, oops, uh, what we got, ooh, Halbert, nice, choosing jobs, oh, I got a new job, you have unlocked a new job, find the job you want in the upper left of the battle settings menu, or battle settings screen, um, then press X to select that job, changing your job will also change your stats, actions, and even usable equipment, yeah, cause I can't, yeah. What is this all about? Lances? Lances are pierce type weapons with a long reach. Yeah. Pierce thrust. Yeah, I gotta remember all that, huh? At least strike. To the side or to the left. Triggers an area of effect slashing attack making lances. Yeah, that's a lot to remember, man. Shields cannot be equipped with while using lances. Fair, I guess, because lances have a pretty... Oh, you can throw them, too? What? Wow. Lances can use Lance Hurl with R2, skewering foes from a distance. The attack can be charged by holding down R2, increasing in power the longer it is charged. Okay. Heck yeah, man. Nice, nice. Oh, wait, no. I don't want to drop down. I don't want to drop down. So I can't switch between them by pressing triangle. Oh, job trees. One. Oh, okay. Nothing for Lance, huh? Battle settings. Oh, so you can only set two at a time, huh? Well. Oh. Well, I want Mage and Lance then. Yeah, do Mage and Lance. I guess so that I, I don't I'm guessing that whatever's coming up is gonna mean that whatever I that I'm, what I'm what I'm saying is is that giving me the lance here I'm guessing that whatever challenges are coming up it will be done could be done easier or can be done easier with the use of the lance can you I want to know can you save your game I don't think you can huh you can't save during this tutorial I mean not tutorial during the demo Hmm. I was trying to see what pressing the uh, the, the touch screen button does outside of a you know like window not next to doors and stuff like that. Do I get a cube, please? Give me a cube. So we've come full circle. Huh? There it is down there. Ladder over there. Ladder where? Over here. Okay. You gonna tell me about ladders? Ladders. Kick down ladders to unlock shortcuts. Oh, so that's what they meant. So we're just further up, we're further above the area where we started, huh? Okay. 
pretty odd having to push the touch screen to interact with stuff like that. Let me go to this cube, man. Yeah, screw that. I don't want to, like, uh, trigger something or come across some super powerful enemy and die or hit a trap or something. I don't. I still don't know. Every, I don't know everything this game has to offer. Descend quickly. Wait, what did it say? Oh, okay. There we go. Just press it down. Oh. That's what this is. Okay. Nice. So we really did come full circle, huh? Okay. Let's head back up. <clears throat> no, go go up the ladder. There you go. <laughs> oh boy. Very odd. <laughs> odd looking animation. You know, it's just sped up. Hmm. One of those actions that doesn't look better when it's sped up. Looks worse. Okay. Alright. What do we have? Alright. Come on, follow me. There we go. He's getting dog piled, man. Holy crap. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Time for a change. <laughs> this is the one. Time for a change. I was trying to listen to his voice. I was like, is that a Christopher Savage? But it doesn't sound like it though. It kind of, from a like, just just listening to him real quick. It kind of, uh oh. Reach back. Wait, no. That's not what I wanted to use. Holy crap, what? Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> Nice. Potion. There we go. Where is he? What the? Oh crap. Okay. Bad is kicking my tail right now. <laughs> there we go. I'm about to say, why can't I go into my stuff? Um, can be set to that. Slash out and it, and surrounding foe. Hold the button. Okay. Over here. Oh yeah, yeah, they're separate. I was like, oh man, I don't want to waste my jaw points. I want to use it on this, but they're separate. Yeah. Thank goodness, man. Once again, thank goodness. Yeah, we're going this way. I want to unlock that advanced black mage stuff, man. Increased strength, yeah, sure. Absolutely. No, um okay. Switch back to the lance. Look around. That chaos saves the biggest tower for himself. Still got a ways to go. I bet he does. Yeah. Stay alert. Stay focused. Oh look at that, new enemies? Equipment set, certain pieces of equipment will favor specific stacks and job affinities. For example, the shadow set favors physical defense and the swordsman affinity. Oh, okay. The twilight set favors physical attacks and the lancer ability. The caster set favors magic attack and defense and the magic affinity. And the pale set offers balanced stats. Ah. Chance may sometimes reward you with a piece of equipment with an additional effect like ability damage plus higher uh, level Higher level equipment has more potent effects. Pay special attention to your loot and find a combination of effects that fits your playstyle. Boy, you know there's gonna you know there's gonna be some no lifer. Like in the first few days, they're gonna beat the game in like the I don't know how long I don't know however long this game takes to beat. I'll probably beat the game in a few days, 
and then within the week they're gonna find some sort of super uber powerful uh build or something to use against the you know you know how it goes man Oh, I missed. Got him. Got one. Hit him. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Nice. My equipment. Oh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, yeah, man. I gotta remember that I can immediately cancel whatever abilities in order to do the soul burst. Me or is this Lance increasing their break their break gauge significantly, man? Heal. Yeah, let's take this thing down. Get off of you, you stupid bat bastard. Oh, there we go. Oh, let me strike that. Dang. Does that somehow kill all the other enemies that remain? Nope. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? Oh, it did. Heck yeah. Okay. So I, see this, I saw that this game doesn't release until next year, 2022, and man, if it doesn't, sh if this game doesn't show why that is, it's a trial version <laughs> performance, man. You guys see me stuttering and stuff, right? I know y'all see that. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. I'm looking at the preview screen, and am I? Yeah, I'm going it. Yeah, okay. Just me seeing if it's smooth. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I'm just not, I'm not used to that on a console. It's been such a long time since I've experienced a game on console with, with, with frame stutters and stuff like that, man. And little slowdowns. I'm just not used to that. <laughs> but to be fair, the only games I play on console, I've, I've only owned a, the only console that I've owned in the past like for a long time was PlayStation uh, stuff, but on the PS4 though, I, you know, I don't play on console often since I'm a PC guy, and the only reason I got a PlayStation 4 is to play uh, the exclusives, and since the exclusives are usually AAA releases and they are well done, I don't have to, I don't worry about performance issues, you know, I don't experience, you know, stuttering and stuff like that, it's not the norm for me because of, you know, the games that I play on console. So seeing these frame starters and stuff is just so unusual to me. It's, I'm, it's almost make me think, wait, am I on my computer? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm used to that with PC games, you know, because uh, you know how PCs are. PCs are very, they, they vary wildly between users. Everybody's PC is different and you have to tweak and tune the game. You have to fine tune the game so it'll run as best it can on your machine. So oftentimes you get performance issues, you know. Uh, because maybe you don't have you don't have the best graphics card or the best CPU or the most RAM, and so maybe it can't run the game as well in the settings that you have. So I'm very used to that type of thing. But here on a PS5, though, no, you know, it really, really need to you know fix that performance, man. That's that is something. <sighs> Strike foes to inflict heavy break damage and launch them. In. Ooh, yeah, unlock that. Over here. I don't know. At first, I thought being able to customize these the the moves were like a good thing, but now I don't like that. I have to that it has to be a part of a combo. You know what I mean? 
uh, I don't know. This is in because by these being customizable, then you got to remember which move is on which combo. You know what I mean? So if I go and complete, so say I'm using this for a while and then I unlock like two or three more abilities and I want to use them and I switch this out and I got to re remember, oh, wait, uh, which one is on R, R, R2? Uh, okay, that one's there. Which one is on R1, R2? Which one is on R, you know, like, uh, it's kind of like a bit sway back. Okay. Yeah that there <sighs> what are these what unblockable attacks uh oh of course blockable versus unblockable attacks enemy attacks cloaked in a sinister aura cannot be blocked if you see one of these move away and evade to avoid taking damage you will be able to block these attacks in casual mode okay See anybody use one yet? Yeah. Oh, nice. I do like the whole mechanic of um well, if you if you use your weapon abilities right, you can keep replenishing your um, what is that stuff called MP? You can keep replenishing your MP. You know, you use a weapon ability to finish off an enemy. I mean, well, you use a weapon ability to break the enemy, and then you you know get that MP back. I like that whole thing. Um, how the heck do you get in there? What the oh. But I gotta say, I am getting the whole, I am getting the whole Dark Souls vibe. You know, we're in a castle with skeletons and stuff like that. It seems like, it looks like Dark Souls, absolutely. It plays like a weird fusion of Dark Souls. It's like, it, it borrows the aesthetic, you know. It borrows a, the Dark Souls aesthetic, and it borrows just a very, very tiny bit of gameplay elements from it. You know, with the whole, uh, with the cubes. Where if you die, you go back to the cube, and you know, and the cube is where you can do stuff. You can do stuff at the cube and replenish your pe your, your health and your MP and your your, your potions, and and uh, if you do use it, it, it revives the enemies. You know, that's a whole Dark Souls thing there. Which way do I want to go? I don't even know. Let's go back here first. If I can, can I go back here? Nope. There's no cube here either. If I die, I have to go all the way back to that area. Alright. There's only one way to go. Oh, it's locked? Okay. Over here then? No. So, oh, are there puzzles up in here that we gotta figure out? Oh, it's a door here. Okay. Oh. Another room. Mini boss. Boss or mini boss? What's, what is it? If it, if it doesn't pop up now, it's gonna pop up after we open this chest. Key to fate's door. Okay. Give me the enemy. Come on. There we go. I knew it. There we go. Dang. Very nice. Sweet. Well, oh, I messed it up. I'll offer support, guys. He didn't get stunned. Yeah, I remember last time I... I think one of the wolves attacked me. You guys remember. I was um, charging up this lance throw and an enemy came at me and then I threw it <laughs> at the last second and it knocked him back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, crap. Come on, man. Bull crap. I didn't get, I didn't get time to move. What a load of bullcrap. I didn't get time at all to move. He did, he used that move the split second after I got the warning, man. Get out of here with that nonsense. 
Get me right on out of here. How do you, um, no, oh, what? Okay, this, all right. I don't know, I think Ruin is the one on the left. The dodge thing that I just unlocked is on the bottom. Like, why don't, why don't, why on earth don't they put the name in the thing, man? Like, what the heck? <sighs> they got a plenty of time before this game comes out. They better make some good quality of life changes, man. What is it at level 11? <clears throat> so now I can go in here. You use key to fate's door. Darkness is so thick I can taste it. Okay, so we're almost to chaos. No doubt. There we go. Do that. Nice. Potion times two. Let's look around. There we go. What is this? Oh, another harbor. Oh, it sucks. Look how far up my freaking MP gauge is now. That is insane. Can I unlock the thing now finally? Yeah. Woohoo. Woohoo. Advanced jobs. You have unlocked an advanced job. Uh, you can select it from the battle settings menu. Advanced jobs can use more, spe more specialized job abilities and a wider array of weaponry. Find a job and equipment combination that suits you all right suits your play styles i sure will what is that symbol is that for the black mage what is that symbol for dragoon what the heck is a dragoon i don't know what dragoon is i don't have that do i dragoon this is my stats a fair bit whatever you know i ain't gonna complain all right, I think I'm good to go. Time to kill chaos. <laughs> I think chaos is behind that door. I'm ready. Chaos is going down because we don't like chaos. <laughs> I like the auto save or whatever. Yeah, it did. All right, going down chaos. Going down. Going down. I'm going, I'm going to take you on with a level one black mage. Do we fight him or does the demo end before we fight him? Look, I'm just sitting there chilling. It's like, yeah, whatever. It's like, yeah, I'm king. Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> no. I am to become. And who are you? That's Christopher Savage. We're here to kill chaos. Who I don't like. Prophecy's very own warriors of light. Really? He always wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. Hmm. It's Garland. Garland. No. I become chaos. Yeah, we heard you the first time, but what time for me to get my booty handed to me? Cool poles, man. Yeah. I blocked that, but okay. Holy crap! All right, screw you too, dude. All right. Okay, so he can use magic too, huh? Stop going backwards, man. This mess is annoying. I keep trying to attack and then they're like, well, yeah, I'm dead. Okay, so since he's on fire, switch. There we go. Oh, ow. Nope. None of that. Heal.
Why isn't it working? Why isn't, it, why isn't my stuff going up, man? Come on, man. Man, come on. My stuff didn't charge. I thought it was, I thought your MP was supposed to charge. Why you? Come on, game. What? What is this? I don't need no help on how to defeat him. I don't want boss hints. No. I don't need boss hints. Screw off. Yeah, that was a fluke, man. Block, but okay. How do you do the thing? This. I can't use it? Okay. I thought it was supposed to... Never mind, man. Because that's been happening, y'all. That has absolutely been happening. It's, the bar would go up. And now all of a sudden, the game is like, whoa. Uh-oh. How do I, like, um... That is so annoying, man. Like, how do I, I can't get in close to him fast enough to attack him? Come on, dude. What are you doing? I gotta like dodge out of the way for that. Yeah, there we go. Probably dodge him instead of just blocking everything. <clears throat> At least the fire attacks in the way. God dang it, man. Uh-huh. Oh, dang it, man. He does it so fast. Let me actually just roll forward. Ugh. No, switch. Oh, come on. Nope. Attack the other guys. Heal. Heal, you moron. There we go. What? No, 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 no. Make the switch. Uh, I can't throw because I don't have. Yeah, there we go. Heck yeah. Okay. 
Okay. What the? Okay. No way. So this is what darkness does to humans. Keep it alive. Try Earth. God dang it, man. I thought it was gonna throw like a move at him. We know he does it better. This is putting a damper on our fun, Jack. Think you can help us out? Huh? What are you talking about? Are you still being a douche? Haha. Uh -huh. Nope. What the heck was that move? I saw it. Shoot. Okay. games are definitely don't yeah they're definitely challenging um yeah i just run out of health man <laughs> if i had like five more potions i could do it switch all right okay no come on man i forgot the game doesn't part I hate that man. I wanted to go. I, I don't remember my combo. Just kill me, dude. There you go. You know what? I'm gonna say that. No, I'm gonna say this now, man. I'm gonna say this right now. I don't mind challenging games. It's fine. Okay. I don't mind challenging games. I, I've played and beat Sekiro, like I've mentioned many times before in the past. Sekiro was my favorite game of 2019. I voted for it for Game of the Year. I enjoyed that game a lot. It was my favorite game from 2019, okay? My entire playthrough is up on my channel right now. That being said, man, okay, I'm not just because okay, I know like the whole Souls super tough challenging thing is the, all the rage right now, but I don't want all of my games to be super Dark Souls hard challenging all the time, man. Like, it's, it gets annoying, dude. Like, I don't mind challenging, but god dang, man. And I'm not saying, I'm not trying to, like, uh... I think this game is good so far, man. I like, it's fine, but, you know... It's absolutely fine. And I know I'm just get, I'm just getting annoyed right now, and when I get annoyed and frustrated, I tend to like whine and complain, you know. But until I actually beat it, and I'm like, oh, that wasn't so bad. That does, that's happened quite a few times before. I'm sure there's some strategy to make to make this guy a, a walk in the park. And I just gotta figure out what it is. No, that fire. I wish I had more time. Ugh. Yeah, I might not play this game. I don't know, cause I find it's, it's. I don't mind the game being challenging, but it's just some like it's just like the mechanics in this game that tick you off. It's, it feels like it's it's no it's not really strategic, and it's just there to make things like it's just a cheap way to make the game more difficult. You know what I mean? It's a cheap way to make like you're not pausing the game when you go into the freaking ball like into the uh, into the menu here like why doesn't it pause the game I don't know you know what I'm saying well the whole having to hold down the button to select your whatever magic you want to use with during the middle of a fight so you having to freaking like navigate through a menu during a freaking boss fight with no pause going on at least slow the combat down man. Ugh. So if I don't remember what combo that I have set for a weapon, oh, screw me, you know, doing a boss, doing a fight, well, you know, whatever. And uh, I, I just want to say to you people that say, well, just memorize it, um, go eat a dick, please, screw you. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Things shouldn't be difficult, un annoyingly, things shouldn't be annoying 
for no good reason. Like, there's no reason that I shouldn't be able to go into the menu. And, you know, there's no reason why the game shouldn't pause while I go into the menu. You know, there's no good reason for that. I don't care what, you, what argument you got, man. No, oh, just kill me again. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna let him kill me. Quickly block it. What? What? What did I say? I didn't see what that said. Let's just look at the stupid thing. I, I really don't care anymore. Um, what was it? What was the thing for it? boss hands? Here we are. This fool is swift and leaves few openings. Watch their movements closely and wait for your chance to strike or use Soul Shield to store up MP and assail them with Lightbringer. Utilize instant abilities and magic to target. What are instant abilities? Bring down his powerful defenses. Now learn an ability on the job tree job points or reward it when leveling. What does this have to do with anything? Okay. Yeah, that'd be nice and all if I could if the freaking menu would pause while I go in so I can see what I want to use. If it will pause during the fight, I can see which one I want to use and use the right thing. Or at least slow down like Final Fantasy 7. Use what? So you want me to use Lightbringer. So this stops attacks. I didn't know I could use this to block attacks. I thought they just absorbed absorbed abilities. Where you go telling me that now? Unless I unless it told me and I forgot. Oh, okay. See, I didn't I didn't know that. I didn't know you could use the soul thing. I had no idea. Dang it, man. All right, whatever. They tell you to use combos, but you can't, though. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Okay. Okay. I just realized that using the soul thing uses up your break gauge. Why? Oh, that's annoying. Alright, yeah. yeah. Dodging doesn't help me that much. Alright. Stupid break gauge at the bottom is annoying too. I don't like the break gauge, man. Uh why do why does the player character need a break gauge? Like just do all you gotta do. Okay, get, this this is what they no I forgot you can't pause with them. So stupid, man. This is what I would prefer. Instead of having a stupid break gauge, right? Get rid of that junk, right? And just make it and just give and they already have it in the game, unblockable attacks, right? Well they have unblockable attacks, but make instead of uh, you can have unblockable attacks and uh or or have have attacks that break a guard. You know what I mean? Break the character's guard. Put a guard function in the game or something like that. For the, for the, for the player for us to get get rid of the stupid gauge at the bottom and just give us a guard break, man. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Give us a guard break. Look at look at his his cape is still going. <laughs> oh boy, that's weird. And make it so and give and give enemies uh, guard break attacks. You know what I mean? Attacks to break the guard, and then if his guard gets broken, he gets stunned for like a second or two. You know what I mean? Do that, man. That's what I would prefer. Such so this stupid meter at the bottom. The recharges at the speed of molasses. Like, what am I supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess I gotta dodge and let it... Let it go up. Probably just another, I think it's just another case of me being a little whiny. Because if you dodge, it looks like it goes up fairly quickly. I just need to pay attention to it. 
Just like with Sekiro, you know? You gotta pay attention to that little gauge at the bottom. And then recover it when you need to. Oh crap. Come on, man. His, when he gets that ice sword out, what am I supposed to do to do for that, man? I honestly don't see myself playing this game. I, I don't it feels like there's gonna be a lot of frustration involved, which I don't like. I don't like being I don't like being frustrated with my video games, man. Second rule didn't frustrate me because I already knew what I was getting into, you know what I mean? You know what you're getting into when you play a Souls game. But I don't play Final Fantasy to play for Dark Souls, you know what I'm saying? If I want a, a Souls game, I'll play a freaking Souls game. You gotta let that gauge go up. Oh crap. What? I hit him. Did I not hit him? Man, come on. <sighs> it looks like I accidentally switched to electricity because I think I was trying to dodge it the last time. Oh, man. Well, that's how you block that, huh? Use fire. Well, they're both down. Where are they? Okay, I think I see one guy over there. There you go. So stupid that you have to use potions in order to... It's so dumb, man. This game is just frustrating me even more, dude. Like, why do you... Why can't you... Okay. Honestly, I might do. I might rage quit this mess, man. Like, I don't got time to keep. Yeah, I got. I can't like do this all day. Let's try win. Keep thinking that he's gonna shoot it at him like Final Fantasy VII, man. Oh, that did some nice damage. He's mixing his attacks up, man. Oh, crap. Get up. Oh, alright. He started, he mixed his attacks up, man. man this isn't fun for me. Oh dang, you got me there. Come on, get up. Get, oh, you stupid moron, dude. Come on. That mess is stupid, man. You get knocked down and then he stays. Come on, man. I hate when games do that. He knocks your character down and then while you're trying to get up, the character strikes again. It's such cheap bullcrap. So it looks like blocking lowers their gauge. Got him. I just need to pelt him with electricity spells. I thought I blocked it. Get up, you mo- Okay. Get back. Uh, okay. Alright. Doing a lot better now. Now that I know that I can pelt him with spells, I know electricity does a lot of damage. Crap. Get up. Oh, come on, man. I almost had him that time.
Ka Tang, man. Stuff is about to break. I hit him with ice, didn't I? Thought I hit him with fire. My teammates. I don't see him. Oh, I see one. No, I don't know. Here, oh, he's right there. Okay. I can just bring him down if I can hit him with like a magic spell. This dude was a pain in the butt. Ah, uh, nice, completed, yeah. All right, fun boss fight. Not gonna lie. Frustrating for me, you know. I, I like to whine and complain and get frustrated, but it was an okay. It was a good boss fight. Thank you for playing, pressing the button. All right, everybody. The following is a survey about the demo. Please let us know about your play experience. Sure. Might skip this might skip this for you guys. Fill out survey out the plan. I might skip this for you guys or cut it out. Please let us know about your play experience. Go to the survey page. Alright folks, that'll do it. I finished the survey. I put it in. I'm I'm yeah, I'm definitely gonna cut that out. Uh Took me a little bit of time to do it. I put in some some uh, they, you know at the end of the survey they actually they, they allow you they give you 500 characters to tell them about you know what you would like to see changed or what you how you thought about it and you know and I went on ahead and did all of that. So guys, um, I gotta say I'm neutral on if I I don't I'm not really sure what to really think of this. It 
they took Dark Souls and incorporated elements of that into Final Fantasy, uh, which is fine. And Team Ninja is involved. Uh, they are the developers of the Ninja Gaiden series, a series that's known to be difficult. You know, it's a tough series, another tough series. Uh, so I, I guess that's why Square Enix brought them on. You know, they probably wanted a more challenging uh, Final Fantasy, you know, so they brought on Team Ninja to help them do that. But my thing is, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm, I don't like, I don't, I'm not a fan of Dark Souls. I'm really not, man. I'm not a fan of everything being super hard, challenging all the time. I'm just not. I'm not one of those people that has to play their games. Like whenever they play a new game, they always play it on the hardest difficulty. I'm not one of those people. I don't enjoy playing games on the hardest difficulty all the time. It's just not my thing. Um, but I'm not saying I'm against people who do enjoy that. I'm not against games being challenging. I'm not against games having super hard modes. My problem is I just don't enjoy dying hundreds of times, you know, and having and getting frustrated all the time. You know, I don't get that sense of, um, I don't know. I'm not one of those people that gets a thrill out of always trying to uh, conquer a super, super hard challenge in the game. I'm not one of those people. I like to sit back. I like to relax. I like to play my games on normal difficulty first. And then if I really enjoy the game that I'm playing and I'm enjoying the gameplay mechanics and stuff so much, then I'll go back and play the game, replay the game on a hard difficulty. You know, if I feel like I'm, I'm doing that with God of War right now, I'm, I'm replaying the game on hard difficulty and I'm enjoying it. You know, it's fine. I really enjoy God of War. You know, really good game. Uh, I 100 I got the freaking platinum trophy on that game. You know what I'm saying? But I, I gotta say, I, I, okay, let me say this. Although I'm I'm not a fan of Dark Souls, and I'm not a fan of everything being, you know, this trend nowadays where everybody wants, you know, you know, the the, the trend is, uh, you, you know, to have everything be super hard, Dark Souls difficult. You know what I mean? And and people see it as like belonging to this club. Or hey, dude, you uh, would you play your games on easy mode? Come join the big boys. Come on, put your nuts on the table. Play the challenging mode. Would you playing Weenie Hut Junior mode? Come on, <laughs> you know I'm not part of. I'm not a part of that, man. Like it's not my thing, man. But uh, yeah, there's this trend going around where everything, where, where where everyone wants things to be super hard, challenging, like. You know, and I'm just not into that, man. I don't like everything being super, super hard, Dark Souls, difficult and challenging. So, but at the same time, I do like that they're trying something different. You know, I like that they're doing something different with Final Fantasy. That's something that I always, that, that I will um, uh, give props to Square Enix on when it comes to Final Fantasy. They seem to be always, they seem to be always trying new things. You know what I'm saying? And it keeps the series fresh, and I do like that. But with that said, I'm just not into the Dark Souls stuff, man. I'm just not. But uh, it's not a bad game at all. Uh, there are some f that boss f was, and and it's just like I said with the final boss. He, once I figured out how to, you know, actually fight him, I was able to beat him. And it's just me whining and complaining, you know. But still, I'm just not into the Dark Souls stuff. Uh, but yeah, the game, you know, there are some things that, that tick me off. Like, uh, I don't know why they don't pause the freaking game. Why don't they let you, when you press, when you go into the menu, like freaking, I'm going to say like 90% of games pause the freaking game when you open the menu. Why is that? Why doesn't this game do that? I don't understand. What's the point of having the game? Why? I don't get it, man. Why does the game have to keep running in the background while you're in your pause? I mean, you're fiddling through stuff and whatever. I don't get that, man. I don't understand. Why is, you know, so then, so when I'm in the middle of a freaking boss fight, say I'm like, oh, crap, uh, what, what, what uh, ability did I have for this command? I want to go into the menu and check it, but I can't because the game doesn't pause. Why? Why doesn't the game pause when I'm going to select magic? You know, I have to uh, press R2 quick, uh, switch the fire. Oh, crap, I got hit. You know, like, come on, man. Same thing for the command abilities. Oh, the, the command abilities for whatever reason. I don't know who decided, who who had the dumb idea of not putting the name of the abilities in the, when you go to select command, they just have the symbols there. I don't know what the symbols, you know what I'm saying? Like, so now you have to learn what the symbols look like. Like, come on, dude, put, just put the name of it. At least with the magic, you, it's easy enough to tell because the magic are color coded. You know what I'm saying? It's easy. 
You know, fire. Fire is in the shape of a flame and is, and is red. Water in the shape of a drop of water and is blue. Wind is, is in the shape of a gust of wind and, and is green. You know, and so on and so forth. Ice is, 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 is light blue. is in the shape of an ice cube or, or a snowflake, whatever. That's easy. The, the magic is fine. But the freaking command abilities, I don't know what those symbols mean. Put the name of the freaking abilities in the menu when you go to select it and slow down the game to a crawl like Final Fantasy VII Remake or have the game pause so I can take time to pick what I want to pick, man. Same thing with the magic. Like, that mess is infuriating. It's annoying. I don't understand why that wasn't a thing anyway. I don't get it. It doesn't feel like it, 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 we're going to break the game if they let us pause, take a few seconds to pick an ability. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, but yeah, um, even so, even with those complaints, um, I do think the boss fight was fun. It was challenging. It was fine. I think the boss fight was fine. Just I'm just not in, like, once again, for the umpteenth time, I'm just not into the whole Dark Souls thing. So I'm probably not going to get this and play this because I know I'm just going to be frustrated like crazy. Um, yeah, I'm not, I can't, I can't, I'm not going to spin, I'm not doing, I'm not doing a whole uh, Demon Souls debacle again. I'm not going to have another Demon Souls debacle. I paid $70 for that game just for me to not like it and then I sold it and got some of my money back. Uh, I'm not going to spend $60 on Stranger of Paradise and then find out, oh, oh no, I'm actually having a terrible, I'm having a bad time with the game, I'm not liking it, and then boom, you know, no, I'm not doing that. So I, so I most likely will not be playing Stranger of Paradise, guys. You know, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just not into the Dark Souls stuff, man. I'm just not. I'm not a fan of the Dark Souls gameplay mechanic. I only like Sekiro, and that was it. For whatever reason, Sekiro clicked with me. Well, actually, I do know why. It's because I don't have to worry about managing a million different stats. I don't have to worry about all these different pieces of equipment. I don't have to worry about what class to choose, what build I'm supposed to be using. I don't have to worry about no stupid stab on a bar. I don't have to worry about a stupid weight limit. Uh, I don't have to um, go into a boss fight and then realize, uh-oh, this boss turns out this boss is weak to magic because that's what the guy said on this boss that I'm having, that I've been fighting for 10 hours or 5 hours or whatever. Uh, and I chose Warrior instead of a Mage. Uh oh, I'm screwed. He's only weak to magic. Well, screw me, I guess. You know, I don't have to worry about any of that. Um, with uh, Sekiro, it's just you, the fight, and fast paced action. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, you know, and um, on top of that, I really enjoyed the world of Sekiro, the lore, the characters, the environment, the gameplay. The traversal, I enjoy all that with Sekiro, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that's what that that's why Sekiro clicked with me over the traditional Dark Souls formula, you know. And my entire Sekiro playthrough is available on my channel right now from start to finish, so you can go and check that out if you want. I would appreciate that very much. Oh, I almost forgot about performance, they really need to work on the performance, man. That is like that is unacceptable, man. All those, those frame drops are unacceptable. Uh, luckily the game isn't coming out until 2022, man, but like I said, that was like, that was weird seeing, uh, actual frame drops like that to that degree in a PS5 game. I know it's a trial version, but still, you know, you, I don't know, maybe it's like an early alpha build or an early beta build or something like that. Uh, which is understandable, but still I'm just saying, you know, this, this better not be... Uh, you know, these frame uh, drops, frame rate drops better not be in the release version. They have plenty of time to knock that stuff out of the way. So that that, that has to be an absolute priority. Uh, it doesn't make the game unplayable, but it's not good either. You know what I'm saying? It is not good at all to have that. Um, so, yeah, I'm not I'm, I don't recall Final Fantasy games on console having performance issues on PC. Sure. Console not used to it. Uh, but I don't know. I haven't played every Final Fantasy game on PC, so uh, we'll see. Hope yeah. Hopefully they they knock out those frame drops because those are pretty bad. Yeah, not unplayable, but they're bad though. But with all that said, guys, that'll do it. Uh, please thumb up the video or thumb it down, whichever you choose. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you enjoy my content, uh, I like to I pump out these average tries videos here and there. Um, when they're usually for for uh, demos. Um, and uh, demos, alphas, betas, and f also for games that I 
want to try, but I don't want to do a let's play for. I want to throw up some content for it, but I don't want to do a let's play for it. That's what these average trash videos are for. Uh, please check out the other Atlas Trash videos. I have a lot of content here. I just got done upload uploading my playthrough of the Yuffie DLC for the Final Fantasy VII Remake. So go ahead and check that out. I also, have, like I mentioned earlier in this playthrough of the demo, I also have the entire my entire Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII Remake up on my channel, including some hard, including some hard mode content. So you can go check that out as well, guys. And I'm also, and I'm also still going through my Resident Evil marathon. Resident Evil Five is next, so I will pick that up. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna play one or one more game before I get to Resident Evil Five. I'm thinking I want to do Castlevania, or maybe Gears of War Ultimate. I've never played Gears of War, any Gears of War except Gears of War Four. Uh, so either one of those guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.